Hello TCG and Lorcana enthusiast. Before you, you can see I'm holding a booster box of the first set of Lorcana. Now this is an open booster box, as I will show here. Um, so I'm not saving this for any value or anything like that. I did really, really want to open this up. I finally got myself a sealed booster box, not only of chapter one, of chapter two as well. I bought both of these at my local gaming store for market value, so that was very, very good. So, it's been a while. I've been waiting for the price to go down for a good time to buy this set, so here I am. It's been a long time since I did these opening style videos. But for Lorcana, a game I am really, really loving and kind of want to get into competitively once the competitive season starts up, I am very excited to actually physically start opening up these cards. So without further ado, let's open up the first chapter. So we have 24 packs in this box. All of them look just grand. It feels so good to finally have physical cards. Yeah, I played a lot of the online simulators, as you all know, and I played this back when it was being proxied at a uh, local tournament. But it just feels good now to have these cards. Now, again, the market has settled down completely. You can get booster boxes now of the sets for an honest price, folks. A very good, honest price. Um, it's now time to really buy. I know there's people who don't like it, like the resellers and stuff like that. But personally for me, I'm glad that the prices have all gone down and we can now actually physically buy this game. So anyways, just to show you here, we got a little companion app uh, thing here. It's actually pretty nice and it does turn into this little puzzle, which is pretty cool, but it's for later. So anyways, to show it off, we got Archimedes, Stampede, Work Together, Gaston, Akuna Matata, Cerberus, Goofy, Donald Duck, Rapunzel, Maleficent, Grab Your Swords, and then a hollow version of Develop Your Brain. Very nice. Put the hollows somewhere else. It feels so nice, folks, let me tell you. So nice to hold these physical cards in my hand and open physical packs. I will say as well, if you're not wanting to get booster boxes just to start up collections, just buy the cards online at TCG Player for everything that you want. So anyways, here we go. We got Jensen. We got the Genie, develop your brain non-hollow. So just a look at the hollow version to the non-hollow. I think almost every card has a hollow version in it. We got Scar, Healing Glow, Prince Eric, uh, Sven, Mother Knows Best, Coconut Basket, Lady Tremaine, Teka, and then a hollow uh, Hey Hey. Now, the one thing I'm unsure is the cards that are in the structure decks, I believe grab your swords in the structure deck, so I believe they're actually not exclusive to the structure deck. Like, I know for a fact grab your sword is in the um, steel structure deck um, from chapter one, so I'm not sure if like they come in here. My, my want is to try to get a Rapunzel or two out of the box. I know for a fact people have said you can't get play sets of everything in the game, but a Rapunzel or two would be very nice for this set. Dr. Facilier, uh, Horace, Jasmine, Elsa, Control Your Temper, Beast Mirror, Ariel, Kronk, Cut to the Chase, Maleficent, Magic Mirror, and then a Hollow Freeze. So we haven't seen anything big and we haven't seen any of those elusive like high, high value cards. I forget what they even call them in, in this game, like the all art high value rares. So. Sorry folks, I just had to take a smell of the fresh open cards. This is something about fresh open cards. Uh, Maleficent, Tinkerbell, Magic Golden Flower, Goofy, Hey Hey, Aladdin, Olaf, The Beast is Mine, Grandma Tala, Mickey Mouse, John Silver, and then Let It Go. That is really cool with the holographic there on the snow. Very cool. Still a very good card for uh, Sapphire, indeed. 
especially sapphire control strategy. Our next pack starts off with Freeze, Vicious Betrayal, Donald Duck. He's got a sword, probably one of my funniest uh, lines from it. And then of course, the little subtest there says, we've all got swords. Fools, we all got swords. Puma, Break, Cinderella, Ransack, Donald Duck, uh, LeFou, Captain Hook, and then Tigger. It's so sad I'm mi we're missing like Eeyore from um, Winnie the Pooh characters right now from the game, but who knows? Maybe Eeyore comes in set three when we get like the 100 Acre Woods. We got Jafar, Duke of Wellington, Maleficent, Aladdin, Minnie Mouse, Simba, Elsa, Flynn Rider, Eye of the Fates, Just in Time, Maximus, and then uh, Stolen Scimitar for our uh, hollow. So in a ways after this pack here I am cracking open, we only have one more pack left in one side of the box. Well, these packs aren't too bad to open overall. They're, they're okay. I think if I had like a little cut in them that could open them a little better, that'd be great. We got friends on the other side. I know this was a staple card in the structure deck, so it's very interesting. So it looks like all the structure deck cards are printed in the main set. Uh, let me know down in the comments if that's incorrect. If not, I'll just pick those sets, those cards up myself. Uh, Megra, Flounder, that was of course friends on the other side. The Pot of Greed itself. Uh, Sergeant Tib, Dingle Hopper, Goons, Mickey Mouse, Beast, Captain Hook, the genie. There we go, folks. That's what I was looking for. Rapunzel. I think she's still retailing for around $27 as of the time of this opening, but still uh, very nice here. This is the legendary rare. And then we have a uh, hollow version of Aladdin. Still a very good card for Amethyst Ruby builds. Steal two lore, gains you two lore. And especially if you wanted to play like in the new Amber cards from um, Rise of the Floodborne where you can even heal it and make this even more annoying, it's very good. So I'm glad to see a Rapunzel, definitely a, a good card indeed. So if I could see like another Rapunzel, that'd be, a, that'd be just great. Heck, even an Elsa would be pretty nice here as well. I think those are like the two really, really good cards from this uh, set. Um, we got Yzma, Stolen Scimitar, Aurora, Tangled, Stitch, Tinkerbell, Befuddle, Jasper, Aurora, Fishbone, Big Tinkerbell, and then a Hollow uh, Pascal. Still a good card in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of decks can just take advantage of this just because the fact is you can do a Pascal lock with this card. Two Pascals on the board unless your opponent has a way to like target remove them or um, has the vases themselves, then uh, you just gain one lower turn for free, practically. All right, well, that is one side of the box done. To on to the second third of the box, or the middle of the box now. So anyways, here we go. We got the wardrobe, Duke of Wellington, Maleficent, Little Aladdin, Minnie Mouse, the Bee Smear, Pascal, the Cheshire Cat, the good Cheshire Cat, Bell, Lilo, Stitch, because Stitch Rockstar decks are still running around, and then a Hollow Puma. I would have rather taken a Hollow uh, Stitch Rockstar, in my opinion. But still, Stitch Rockstar, still a great card. I know there's an aggro like deck going around right now through Floodborne that's just all aggro, go fast, go, go fast, go hard. That's all, all it does. We got Jensen, Horus, work together, Pungle, hey, hey. Kristoff, you have forgotten me. Now even more potent, especially in Rise of the Floodborne. Beast, Moana, Iago, Bell, and then a Hollow Maleficent. The draw Maleficent that you then want to combo to seeing um, friends on the other side. Which is probably one of the best two card combos out there. Next to, of course, Simba and Lilo. Or Simba and any like two cost, one drop. Two lore, one drop guys, or now, heck, even now, just um, 
Pinocchio is like really good with uh, Simba. We got Freeze once more, Stolen Scimitar, Develop Your Brain, Abu, Spuma, Hercules, Olaf, Jumba, One Jump Ahead, GFAR, um, Marshmallow, and then a Hollow Bell. Nice. So far we've only seen one Legendary, unless I am completely mistaken on a, another one. But so far only one Legendary, I'd like to see at least another one, like I said. We have Maleficent, Peter Pan, Philosophies, or Phil for short, Minnie Mouse, Dingle Hopper, Tinkerbell, Be Our Guest, Frying Pan, Fan the Flames, Sword of Truth. Uh, the Stitch is kind of always on the fence of, but it's still very good. If you have two or more guys, I'll just draw two cards. And then uh, another Phil, a hollow Phil this time. I wonder if it's like one legendary per section of the box, because there are three sections of the box. I'm not sure. I know people have said that there's bad distributions that you can't take one box or get, take a couple boxes and get like a entire like playset. We got Magic Brooms, of course, now has a steel version as well. Sudden Chill, Phil, he's got a sword, Control Your Temper, Prince Eric, Rafiki, Dr. Facilier's cards, Trident, Part of your world, do it again. Probably one of the best cards for Mill decks, and then Abu. Yes, do it again, grabbing back a whole new world. I think actually a whole new world is also a legendary. I don't actually know what all the, like the really, really good cards all high rated at. But again, prices are going down now, so you can easily now just go buy the cards you want for the decks you want. Or now even just get a box. Though I will say, if you got a local gaming store that has the product, support your local gaming store. Because again, all these boxes have are just rip tabs, so it's pretty extremely easy for you to know if someone's already cracked open the box with a rip tab. We got friends on the other side, Mickey Mouse, Magic Golden Flower, Scar, Timon, Captain Hook, You've Forgotten Me, Lilo, Moana, Scar, Dr. Facilier, and then a hollow Zeus. I still think this Zeus is still very good. All the challengers are just, all Rush characters are very good, especially with Peter Pan's ghost from um, Rise of the Floodborne giving these guys evasive, meaning that on, at all turns, your opponent has to either have something with evasive or has to have the ability to, like with steel to do the damage or ruby to like knock it out. So very good. I think Peter Pan's um, shadow is now like being played in some niche versions of like Amethyst ruby control. Just because it gives all your rushers um, the ability to gain evasive, so it just protects them from being like challenged naturally. Dr. Facilier, Meg, Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, Simba, Fire the Cannons, Reflection, Tamatoa, Grandma Tala, we got Maui, we got Mickey Mouse, and we got Captain Hook. I think that's the first of that Captain Hook we've, been, we've seen. But anyways, hollow version of the challenger Captain Hook. All right, so no legendary, and um, so far, again, the legendaries are the gold uh, symbol at the bottom. I'll show it here. Uh, legendaries had the gold symbol here. I'll show it. Oh, there we are. So anyways, this is what the legendary symbol looks like. This is what a, so we're kind of looking for the legendary symbol right now. So I'm kind of hoping for because again, we want to see more legendaries. Anyways, we got Jafar, we got Aladdin, we got Jasmine. Talk about the uh, the trio of uh, of um, Aladdin right there in that pack. Elsa, Healing Glow, Goons, Mickey Mouse, uh, Starkey, Tigger, Plasma Blaster. Okay, so Bell, the Bell that um, gains plus four lore per turn. Plus four lore if you have ten or more cards in your inkwell is a legendary as well. So we did get a legendary per each side. We'll have to see what legendary we get out of this one. But anyways, we have Cheshire Cat. All right, not bad. So we got two legendaries there, that being Bell and um, Rapunzel. Like I said, I heard that people said like out of one booster box, you can't even get like a play set of the low rarity stuff. I mean, getting a play set of probably the high rarity stuff isn't going to be easy either. Like Rapunzel's out of one box and all that again. Rapunzel's have gone down in price and are now much more cheap. They were like almost like 60 bucks back when the game first started. Except that was when like product was hard to find. 
Tinkerbell, uh, Vicious Betrayal, Mufasa. Hey, look, Vicious Betrayal, because there goes Mufasa. Uh, Abu, uh, Timon, Aladdin, Pascal, Cheshire Cat, Belle. It's, if it's not a uh, barbecue, Aurora, and then of course a nice uh, hollow Cusco there. Still a very annoying good card for Emerald. Emerald's always gonna be one of the color that's like, got all the annoying cards your opponent really doesn't wanna mess with. So, pretty nice Cusco. I don't think see, seeing as much play as he did in uh, when chapter one had just launched, but still, very good card nonetheless. We got another Tinkerbell. Talk about starting two packs with Tinkerbell. And hey, look, it's her friend, Peter Pan, man. Mickey Mouse, another Peter Pan. Mr. Shmee, Break, Maximus, Starkey, Fan the Flames, the Pocket Watch, Captain Hook, and then a Hollow Pongo. Good doggy. So a good card for um, like evasive strategies if you wanted to go like hyper evasive. Just a run evasive dudes everywhere. I've always thought about putting that together as a deck profile, just pure evasive. Just that's all we play is just pure evasive guys. Anyways, we have Elsa. We've yet to see big Elsa, but we're seeing all the other Elsas. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Mufasa, Pongo, Simba, Kristoff, Anna, the Mad Hatter. I think that's the first time we're seeing the Mad Hatter. Uh, Chief Tau, there's the aerial for Song Control, Mother Gothel. I wish we had cards that could exert her so we can make her effect, her floodgate effect just a little bit better. And then uh, a hollow Starkey. But yeah, I really love Mother Gothel. I think she's so good as a floodgate, the problem is she just, if there was, wish there was just a way to immediately exert her when she comes onto the board, that way her effect is automatically activated for that turn. Again, that's coming from someone who's played Yu-Gi-Oh and there's plenty of floodgates in Yu-Gi-Oh. We got the wardrobe, Aladdin, Merlin, of course now he has Many more different cards now, an entire archetype around him. Minnie Mouse, Sebastian, Cerberus, Prince, Smash, Dragonfire, Maui, Hades, again, another very good card, and uh, Prince Eric. Not seeing Hades as much anymore in builds, but still a very good card to cycle, and he's a very good card to cycle himself. Hades over Hades over Hades. So you're constantly just cycling the Hades, so you constantly can use them to be a nuisance as a 3 2 body. Basically, just swing them in and use them to smash your enemy. We got Archimedes, Tinkerbell, Merlin, Gaston, Mr. Shmee, the Beast, Mirror, Sven, Jumba. One jump ahead, another no, big Dr. Facilier, the Queen. Okay, so I mean, a Hollow Bell, that's another legendary in there. Uh, I wish we'd gotten a Hollow Rapunzel in all honesty, but the Bell is, the bell is cool, though, as Hollow. So we did get another, and we did get a queen there as well. So nonetheless, uh, we did get to two, three legendaries. So I mean, if that's what comes out to each box is you get about three legendaries. So a legendary per section is not bad. I mean, I knew they came in the hollow versions as well. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get lucky to pull one of the, the specialty rare cards. We got Elsa, we got Genie, Aurora, Sergeant Ted, Stitch. What are they doing to my boy in that live action movie? What are they doing to my boy? He look ugly. Cerberus, LeFou, Frying Pan, Shield of Virtue. I think that's the first Shield of Virtue we've seen. LeFou, the really good, oh, this Hades a legendary. Okay, so um, that's another legendary there. But again, another very strong Hades, especially for any real Sapphire build. Late game with Sapphire's ability to ramp. This comes in about late mid game to early late game. Very, very strong card. And then we have a uh, hollow uh, Horus. So uh, four legendaries, one of which is a hollow version of it, which is not bad. All right, folks, we only have this pack and one more pack to go. So let's see what we got. Yzma, sudden chill. Again, now this is seeing some play now in uh, hand control decks in this format. Though I think Amethyst, uh, Ruby Amethyst is still like the top deck of the format. Donald Duck, Goofy, Kuna Matata, Goons, Ursula's Cauldron, a good uh, one-up tech in any deck that's running an Amethyst engine. Uh, Tom Tomatos, uh, the Scepter, we got Captain Hook, another Aladdin, and then Work Together Hollow. 
I do like that all the cards have a hollow like version. So this is it, folks. Did we happen to pull any of these specialty rare cards? I highly doubt it. But who knows? Maybe. We got Magic Brooms. I think this is the only the second copy of Magic Brooms we've gotten. Uh, Stampede, Flounder, Tangle, Sebastian, Captain Hook. There's another Captain Hook himself. Uh, Be Our Guest, Mufasa, Tigger, Part of Your World, Hans, and of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mickey the Mouse. Mr. Mickey the Mouse. There he is. Very, very nice indeed there as a hollow. So overall, I think we got a few cards as play sets and we did get four um, legendaries, which is very nice. I did want to get at least a Rapunzel. We got a couple of the bells, one hollow, one non-hollow. And then we have, of course, a Hades as well. So overall, the best, of course, um, card to draw from that set from our box is clearly Rapunzel, but it makes sense. Rapunzel is just so good as a card overall. So I didn't realize actually the Stitch is actually a legendary as well. Oh, look at me, missing a legendary. So we actually got five legendaries overall in this box. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, we didn't get the Mickey Mouse legendary or the Ursula legendary. Um, we also, I didn't see any copies of, uh, I don't think we, I think we saw copies of John Silver, but I didn't see any copies like a whole new world. So I'm not sure if like everything comes in these boxes or some of the stuff is trapped in structure decks. Overall, the only really expensive cards I'd have to pick up for my own personal collection would be a couple more Rapunzel's, Rapunzel's and I'd have to pick up uh, Maleficent's. But overall, not a bad box opening. I'm glad to finally get my hands on some, of course, cards from Lurkana's first set overall. So yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments on the opening. Have you opened any boxes right now? Now with the prices for booster boxes having going down and more affordable for you, have you cracked them open and what have you gotten? Um, do you think that we still need to see some individual car prices go down um, for a while? I mean, as long as relevant meta decks stay relevant, car prices are gonna stay up. But overall, I mean, besides Maleficent and Rapunzel, everything else is a well. Um, deserved good price right now. So let me know all of that down in the comments and while you're commenting, do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you can notify when my videos go live for you. And we'll see you here next time on Mama Dragons TCG.